Sunday, April 16th, 2023, the second Sunday of Easter. The doubt of Thomas in today's Gospel is proverbial. However, a closer reading of the Gospels reveals that all disciples doubted, not only poor Thomas. But why does John focus on Thomas? John is writing to the third generation Christians, people who have not seen the Lord Jesus. Many of them do not even know any of the apostles. They find it hard to believe. They are struggling amid many doubts. They would like to see, to touch, and to verify if the Lord is truly risen. To them, Mark, Matthew, and Luke respond by saying that all the apostles had hesitations. John's answer, however, is different. He takes Thomas as a symbol of the difficulty encountered by every Christian who comes to believe. It is hard to know the reason why he chose this apostle, perhaps because he had more difficulty, or because it took him more time than the others to have faith. What John wants to teach the Christians of his community, and to teach us, is that the Risen One has a life that escapes our senses, a life that cannot be touched with bare hands or seen with the eyes. It can only be achieved through faith. This also applies to the Apostles, who also have had a unique experience of the Risen Lord. The end of the passage presents the reason why John wrote his book. The Gospel is a sign for people to believe in the person of Christ. John refers to miracles as signs. Jesus did not perform them to impress whoever was there. He even had words of condemnation against anyone who did not believe unless he saw these miracles. The signs are not pieces of evidence, but revelations. Revelations about the person, and nature, and mission of Jesus. Whoever reads his book and understands these signs clearly confronts the person of Jesus Christ and is invited to make a choice. The Gospel is the ultimate proof. But where can one listen to this Gospel? Where does this word echo? Is it possible to repeat today the Apostles' experience on Easter Day and eight days later? If so, how? We definitely have noticed that both apparitions take place on Sunday. The Lord presents himself with the same words, Peace be with you. The disciples are gathered in the house. The meeting to which John alludes is clearly that which happens on the day of the Lord. It's the one in which every eighth day, the whole community is called for the celebration of the Eucharist. When all believers are gathered together, the Risen One appears. He, by the mouth of the celebrant, greets the disciples and wishes, as on the evening of Easter and eight days later, peace be with you. Disciples who, like Thomas, desert the meetings of the community cannot experience the risen Lord because, because he specifically makes himself present when and where the community is gathered. Contrary to what one sees depicted in the paintings, not even Thomas has put his hands into the wounds of the Lord. From the text, it does not appear that he has touched the Risen One. He also pronounces his profession of faith after hearing the voice of the Risen One, along with his brothers and sisters of the community. This ability to experience the Risen Jesus is offered to Christians of all times, to Christians today, every eighth day. Thank you.